It's John with Total Knee Coach. And real quickly, I want to show you the three most overrated exercises after knee replacement. It's not that there's necessarily anything wrong with these exercises in and of themselves, but all too often we have people trying to push through pain to do these too soon after surgery, and there's no reason to do that. Working on your range of motion to bend and straighten the knee better is much more important than these three. The number one exercise we give people after surgery too often is leg raises. This is not that helpful for you. It can put a lot of pressure on the knee and a lot of knee pain without much benefit to you. You will be able to lift your leg again without pain if we focus on swelling control, knee straightening, and knee bending early. So why put yourself through the pain of doing leg raises? Watch my other videos to see a simple way to work on lifting your leg with no pain. Exercise number one, pretty overrated, the straight leg raise. If you're being asked to do it, it's not necessarily wrong, but talk with your therapist about why you're doing it, and I would strongly recommend not ever pushing through pain to do a leg raise. Exercise number two is kind of similar. We put something underneath the back of your knee, and you work on just kicking the foot. Kind of the same idea. It doesn't give us nearly as much benefit because you're not going to be able to straighten your knee all the way like you can with some of these other stretches. And this one, you might be able to do, you might not be able to do, it might be giving you pain. We don't get much value out of it. So let's maybe work on some other things, especially early on, take away those painful exercises. And then the last one that I see that's done that doesn't give you much benefit is doing this foot kick here. Again, Oftentimes my patients complain of pain in the front of the knee and when I think about what are we getting out of this exercise, there's better ways to straighten the knee, there's better ways to bend the knee, and there's better ways to turn on the quad. I'm going to show you how to do all those things in my upcoming videos. These three exercises, let's not push through pain to do them. Let's think about if we should be doing them at all.